Don't worry about it. Okay. Don't, don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're, going. we're going it's fine hi i'm Brittany. <laughs> i'm caitlin we, we are, are the sparkle, sparkle bus, bus. <laughs> can you tell fine. we're, can you tell we're new to live broadcasting we're new we're new to the live feed it's okay <laughs> it, it is okay it's fine it's it's great so we're here to talk to you today about costuming needs mm -hmm. um, the sparkle bus is an authorized Swarovski reseller we're based in Minneapolis Minnesota but we can ship anywhere in the US and we can um, also provide crystal design consultations and labor services to anyone in the US Yes, and so tonight we are going to talk to you about um, how to make a standout audition costume. Oh, Brittany nice. and I both have quite a bit of experience auditioning for the NFL, um, as well as many other uh, performance opportunities, yeah. so we've made many costumes. Yeah. <laughs> many. <laughs> many. So first up, you want to get your costume. So where are good places to get your costume? Mm -hmm. um, we have great experience with the lineup and satin stitches. Both are nationally recognized um, costumers, um, and they all they work with um, individuals to make customized costumes. Yes, and they're both local to Minneapolis. Uh, a few others that uh, we have heard of, they're also nationally recognized, um, Dallas Wear Solutions, uh, Doll Streets. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also just go to your local dance supply store. Yes. It's not about how much money you spend on your costume, right. it's about feeling confident in what you're wearing. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can go to H&M or a department store. Yep. Um, you can find something that fits your budget. So it doesn't matter if your budget is very small or very large, you can find something. Oh, definitely. <laughs> and so um, just I think a big thing to think about when you're um, choosing your costume is the NBA style. And what is that? Yes, the <laughs> NBA style tends to be a little bit more hip hop than glamorous. Um, it's a little more sporty than girly. Mm -hmm. um, but also you want to make sure that you bring out your personality to show who you are in addition to um, following that NBA style. Um, but it's definitely a good idea um, to look up what your team's audition requirements are. Mm -hmm. So you're probably going to want to wear a crop top and booty shorts or a skirt. Um, but each team has kind of their own individual audition requirements some say you know wear whatever and others say you should wear team colors um, so definitely look that up yeah maybe check out some photos of past auditions to yes. see what other women have worn in the past yeah you don't want to show up and feel like you're the odd man out because uh, I did that my first year auditioning <laughs> for the uh, NFL team I showed up in a hot pink sports bra and everybody was in uh, team colors <laughs> so it just throws you off from the minute you walk in the door. Right. So um, you just want to walk out right away. <laughs> All right, I'll try it again next year. <laughs> so yeah, just make sure you kind of do a little research, and that'll help you choose the style of costume too, because each team has a different style. Yes, one might be a little bit more hip hoppy, one where one might be a little more girly. So yeah. you can get a good vibe of. Uh, what style you're looking for, which gives you direction, because when you get onto these sites like the lineup or set and stitches, you're gonna have so many options you're like what so yes. it gives you some direction yes absolutely yeah. cool so you've got your costume you picked it out <laughs> let's make you stand out let's get you yes. noticed let's yes. do it so you want to pick out your rhinestones first mm -hmm. so we specialize in Swarovski crystals and yes. we could go on and on for days about how wonderful Swarovskis are um, but these crystals are your top quality Austrian crystal. Mm -hmm. um, these facets are cut for maximum sparkle, maximum shine, and the flat back stones uh, have superior foil backing uh, so that your glue won't uh, muddy up your uh, costume. It won't interfere with your shine. And we have we have a picture to show you. Yes, we do. So Brittany's in charge of the photos. Uh, well, I, I'll post it right now. Here we go. Yeah, so uh, what Brittany is posting, she got some what, acrylic rhinestones from Michael's. From Michael's. Um, yeah. And so what happened is the glue did something to the foil and it muddied the stone. So you'll see yeah. that when Brittany it's, posts the picture. It's real not uh, good. We have a side by side of the nasty stones versus the Swarovski <laughs> stones. And the Swarovski yes. stones never, never get muddied. They're amazing. Yeah. Um, being a part of and the NFL um, cheer teams, uh, the system here, all of my costumes have um, Swarovski stones on them. Oh, so, hi, Callie. Oh, our sparkle our mascot <laughs> has joined us. Callie's here. Miss <laughs> Callie. Um, so. 
yeah, so it, it's just something that even like, the professional teams, professional performers, they do not use anything other than Swarovski. So um, yeah, Brittany will get that posted getting here. It, getting it up. Yeah, so let's talk about sizes too. So yeah. um, when you're looking at rhinestones, it can be a little overwhelming because yes, there are many sizes. There are a lot of options and there are a lot of different shapes too. Yeah. And so we recommend flat back, um, no hot fix stones. Mm -hmm. um, if you're interested in hot fix, that's something you can message us directly about. We'd be we'd love to talk to you about hot fix. That's just a whole nother animal. Um, we just don't want to go into that right now. But the no hot fix stones are the most popular and easiest to use. The round stones. We suggest sticking with um, sizes SS12 through SS30 which is uh, four different sizes with SS12, SS16, SS20, and SS30. And so in the past, I usually use a combo of all four sizes, which is great. Yep. But for newcomers, that kind of thing, SS20 is the most popular if you don't want to mix um, sizes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and then you also want to look at colors. So you figured out what size works best for you and your costume. What colors are you going to go with? Um, so Crystal and Crystal AB are some of the most popular neutrals. Um, they can go with just about anything. Yes. Um, other options for neutrals would be Crystal Shimmer, which has a little bit more of a blue shine to it. Mm -hmm. And then Jet and Jet Hematite. You can see the Jet that we're wearing oh, right yes. here on our sparkle shirts. You don't even want to know how many rhinestones are in here. Uh, the sizes on here do range from <laughs> SS9 to it SS30. Took, it took days. Oh um, my god, days. It took longer than days. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many. So many stones. Um, but oh, yes. I'm, I'm posting. I'm posting. Oh yes. Okay, she's she's posting. I'm talking. <laughs> we get distracted. You like, look, look at the sparkle. We can't I know. help it. You see the sparkles? You just, yeah. <laughs> Oh god. Okay, anyway, <laughs> so um, one thing that you can do is mixing colors, which is a really great option. It yes. keeps the eye moving. Um, a lot of great colors to mix. You can't go wrong with Crystal AB. It's the most versatile color along with Crystal um, that you can you can order. So um, you just want to make sure you're sticking with the same color family mm -hmm. so it doesn't yep. look like you just... I don't know, like some Swarovskis like blew up on your costume or something. <laughs> um, so keeping with the same color family, it helps keep the eye moving, adds a little dimension, like I said. Um, and yeah, you can throw in a few neutral neutrals with colors. Uh, Brittany will be throwing up a picture here of one of my yes. favorite audition costumes. Yes. I mixed in Crystal AB, Crystal um, Amethyst, and um, uh, I, uh, Tanzanite on that one in four different sizes as well. So... One thing to remember, um, when you start mixing in multiple colors and sizes, it does get a little bit more intricate as yes. far as the pattern goes. So if you're brand new to rhinestone, you might want to just stick with, you know, a max of two colors and two sizes so you don't get too overwhelmed. Um, so uh, matching colors to your costume, also another yes. issue. Usually we actually meet with our clients in person to do this yep. just because... Um, online it can be kind of hard to tell what the color is mm -hmm. so um yeah. even the stock photos that we got from Swarovski photos. are yeah they don't do it justice they directly really from don't. the distributor and they still don't do them justice so um just don't. we do offer sample cards since uh, a lot of our friends here we're talking to are around the nation mm -hmm. uh so what is great about these is you go select the sample card it is five dollars that we do refund to you or apply to your order once you do actually order yes. um your crystals so don't think of it as a loss of five dollars it just gets applied to your order in the future just planning yes planning and um yeah so you select five colors that you want to sample we put them on a card for you and then you're able to actually lay it down on top of your fabric to see yep. um, what colors you like the best yes yes exactly yeah um so with that um a lot of the colors in the same family blend well, so if you know you want just one color or just two colors and you're like narrowing it down between two colors, something like that, either is going to be fine because mm -hmm. um, the colors can be pretty similar, but even if you're in the same color family, it can blend really well. Mm -hmm. So I mean, don't don't be too afraid to just go for it. If if you're debating between two, just you can just pick one and it's probably fine. Yeah, exactly. So I know I've had costumes before too, and. Uh, the example is just mixing colors. The mm -hmm. fact that I can put four different colors on one costume yep. and it looks good just shows you that you really can't go wrong as long as you're in the right color family. Right, right. Because it, I mean, it adds extra dimension to add. Yes. To add the other, to add the other colors too, which is great. Yes. 
Cool. So, so how, many, how many stones? I do. How many stones do you need? The answer is you can never have too many. But that's obviously if you're talking to Caitlin and I, because you just don't <laughs> stop adding them. <laughs> that's our style. That's what we do. Yes. Um, but we do break it down by three different categories for how many you might <laughs> want. Um, the first is a sprinkle sparkle, which is anything under four gross. Um, for this type of costume and then there's a glitz and glam kind of a medium bling anywhere between four and ten gross mm -hmm. And then on the higher end is the big time bling costume, which is going to be ten or more gross my Oh my god, we have this problem where we just can't stop <laughs> I may have accidentally Brian sewed a costume for a client and just kept on adding and I was yes, like, so you I gave did. you a gift you did. I did it because I couldn't I couldn't stop. I was like, it needs more. Sorry. Not sorry. She was happy with it. <laughs> it was fine. It was fine. Um, but if you're extra new to rhinestoning, you're probably asking us right now, how much is a gross? <laughs> um, so one gross is 144 stones. It's a dozen dozen is how that came to be. Yeah. Um, so a sprinkle sparkle is anywhere from 72 to 600 stones. A uh, glitz and glam look is 600 to 1,440 stones. And a big time bling look is anything over that 1440 mark. Yeah. Um, and I've got examples for yes. you of that so too. Brittany will Here work on posting examples while I continue on necessary yep. tools for rhinestoning. Yeah. So here. So what do I need? The essentials. So what um, are my essentials? Your essentials. Well, first of all, we need glue because we're oh, not I talking. I got my katana out. Oh, oh man. Well, we'll get there. <laughs> Gosh. Um, yeah. So, cause we're not talking about hot fix stones. Like I said, DM us if you want info on hot fix. Yes. So no, no hot fix. We've got two different types of glues that we prefer to use. We've got E6000 Fabrifuse and E6000. Mm -hmm. um, both of these glues do have pros and cons. Uh, love about E6000 is that everything sticks. I yes. don't lose stones as easily. I yep. feel very confident in the hold. It also is um, you're able to wear your costume within 24 hours. Um, another great thing about E6000 is that um, when you put the glue down and you squish your stone on top, oftentimes the glue will pop up on the sides. Yep. If you let your E6000 get a little tacky, you can go in the tweezers and just peel off that glue and it's like nothing happened. The downside about E6000, it is toxic. You need ventilation while you're doing it. Um, well, Brittany and I, Rhinestone, are, for our Once on Wednesday videos, we do drink wine and it's a bad combo. It's a we great combo. Loopy, which makes for great videos. Ooh. But I'm pretty sure we've killed brain cells. <laughs> so yeah, so pros and cons of E6000. Uh, Fabrifuse, uh, it's great hold, not as strong as E6000, but it is non-toxic. So um, if you're in a not very well ventilated area, you can use this guy. Um, one thing with this, you do have to be very careful with the glue because it's it's a little bit more liquidy. You can't yes. clean up after the fact. So it's tough. It's not as easy yeah. to clean up mistakes. Definitely ruined a thing or two with that. Yes. So <laughs> either glue, if you're new to rhinestoning, yep. definitely test it out. Um, just just try out your, your technique before going for it because I've seen yep. some really big glue mistakes and I've had people come up to me like, how do I fix this? And I'm like, you can't. Sorry, that's the answer is you can't cover fix that. It, cover it with more rhinestones. You can, you can completely cover your costume with rhinestones. That's what you can do. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> so just a few other things here. Um, we have also, uh, you need something to pick up your stones. Fingers really suck. Um, and tweezers aren't the best because of Chris, you get a carpal tunnel. Um, we really like using either a crystal katana. Yes. Or what we call a wax tip stylus. Pros and cons of both of these guys. Crystal katana. Great, because you've got this nice um, end to pick up your stones, and you also have this little pokey end to poke your stones down. Um, <laughs> the pokey it's expensive. End. It can be. Yes. You can get coupons um, sometimes. But this guy here, about three, four dollars for a package of two. Definitely does not last as long though. Yeah. And you don't get the pokey end to mash your crystal down. Yes. Yeah. So um, yeah. So different options there. Um, it's up to you what your budget is and how often you want to rhinestone. If you're going to do one costume, go with this guy. If you're going to rhinestone for the rest of your life, go yes, with this guy. Yes, rhinestone for the rest of your yes. life with us. <laughs> Another great thing is a magical tray by the Beadsmith. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Got it right here. Perfect. Um, Callie is licking my toes right now. Okay. <laughs> so we got we got we got to go a little faster. We do. We're we just do. Okay. Really just okay. Taking, sorry. So here are the here are the, here are the beadsmith uh, magical trays. You literally put your stones in and give them a shake. You probably can't see this right now, but 
there are little bumps at the bottom, little ridges, that help flip your crystals over so that they get shiny side up. Yep. So you can just take your crystal katana and yes. pick it up. Yep. And then uh, tweezers to remove any excess glue if you go yes. with E6000. And then also entertainment, we choose wine. You can choose a video <gasps> or yeah. wine. Cheers. So yeah. So we got four minutes to get through this, so. We can do it, we're great. Okay, perfect. So how to. Oh, sorry, baby. Um, so first you wanna plan. You want to decide if you want a design or a pattern. Um, you can figure out something on your own, otherwise we can help. Remember we offer those um, free design consultations, so we're happy to help with that. Mm -hmm. um, next you wanna separate your stones into halves or quadrants. So I like to say I want half on my top, half on my bottom, and from there, split up that top half. Okay, this many on the right side, this many on the left side, this many front, back, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so that way you don't end up with giant blank spots on your costume. An intentional blank spot is one thing, but an unintentional <laughs> blatant blank spot is not so great. Yeah. So don't do that. <laughs> uh, with uh, Vikings auditions this year, I had a few girls uh, come back to me multiple times for more rhinestones because they didn't plan out properly. I mean, their costumes are being gorgeous because, well, they have like yes. 20 <laughs> plus gross on yep. them. But it wasn't intentional. It was a, I didn't plan properly nope. and now I need more rhinestones. It's just never a problem. But if you don't have the budget for more, you whatever, yes. you need to plan it out. Um, yeah, so getting started on this, it's pretty darn easy. You put your dollop of glue on um, uh, paper plates, some um, yep. reject mail, whatever you want. <laughs> Did you get a credit card offer that you don't want? Use that for your dollops <laughs> of glue. Problem solved. And then also you can use um, toothpicks to apply the glue or a glue mm -hmm. syringe. Yep. Um, your personal preference, I like toothpicks. You just place your glue where you want it to go. Um, just a little bit goes a long way. Set your stone down and then make sure you, you leave enough time for your costume to actually set before you wear it. You don't want things popping off. Yes. And I'll post yes. links when we're done to everything that we're talking about so that you can easily access um, all of the products and not be like, well, you said this, but where do I find it? <laughs> That's not it fun ever. Yeah, so those are all your little quick Look tips. That. I'm also going to post a PDF of um, yeah. just quick tips also um, so that you have those. Awesome. Yeah. So to wrap it up, yeah, I guess. Um, so remember we offer free consultations to help with your designs and pick mm -hmm. out stones. Um, We're having 20% 20, uh, 20 off of all of our crystals, which is great. Yes. Uh, so there's no limit on quantities, colors, anything like that. Uh, the code does expire uh, end of July, so plenty of time. Um, but yeah, so it's completely 20% off your entire order. If you need to come back and order more, you still get that 20% yes, off. Yes, absolutely. It's great. If you don't see a color that you want, um, just send us an email. We can order yeah. it for you. It, Let us know. Yeah, let us know. But we do have over 100 colors on our website. So many. You get a sample card, all yeah. of that good stuff. Don't forget about the sample card. Remember, $5 up front, but when you yeah. order, you get that $5 applied to yeah. your order. And I'll yeah. post the code also in the... In the um, live chat so you can just copy and paste it into our awesome. website so everything will be posted in the comments so that um you have easy access to everything yeah yeah i know anything else follow, us, follow yeah. us on instagram like us on facebook subscribe on youtube yeah. otherwise um we make videos give us some shout outs in the group here let us know what questions you yeah. have we're happy to answer we'll be on for a little bit oh yeah um so we're happy to answer whatever questions you have mm -hmm. um otherwise contact us and we're, we're yeah. gonna rhinestone some stuff with you yes <laughs> i would love that yeah if you um need us to actually make your costume that's something we can do too um any questions if you want us to actually rhinestone a costume for you or whatever yes um, um, send us a message. We will talk to you. Yeah. We'll talk we to you later. We love talking about sparkles. Perfect. Okay. Sparkle on, friends. Sparkle on. Watch me up. We got the business up top. It's all about me. Bottom. It's all about me now. It's oh. all about me. I'll drink Always both. about Brittany. I'll drink both of our It's wines. always about Brittany. <laughs>